what's up everybody welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel either way i'm glad that you're here i'm stephen m kiefer and i will be your tour guide for today and today we're gonna do conspiracy TikToks part three part three you know why because i'm willing to scroll through TikTok so you don't have to now, right before we get into that, if you don't mind, would you just go ahead and hit the sub button right down there? I mean, you're already here. It's free. It's right there. It only takes two seconds. It's not a whole lot of work. And I'm telling you, I would do it for you, bro. I really would. All right. Now that we got that out the way, let's get into this. Weird conspiracy theories. What if your pillow could collect your dreams and in the morning you could plug it in and watch it all over again? That'd be lit. What if we used to be able to make wishes but someone wished we couldn't? Kind of insane. This is a photo from the 1940s of what many believe to be a megalodon shark swimming next oh, wow. to a U-boat. That That's real? too much. What if the bruises and small cuts we randomly get are from our soulmates getting injured? That's a stretch. Many experts believe that by the year 2045 we'll achieve digital immortality uploading our minds to a computer and back to a different body. And what if Mr. Krabs is Pearl's sugar daddy, which is why she's always calling him daddy and asking for money. Damn. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that might be true. That's pretty funny. Uh, the, 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 the immortal, being a mortal thing probably will be a thing. They did it in Futurama, if you remember that. You know, it won't be for us, us normies, unless there's some non-normies watching this. Ain't gonna be for me. It'll be for like the, the Rothschilds. The Bidens, the good people. I have a theory. What if life as we know it is one giant loop? As you see in a video, is of it zooming out from the Earth into the universe and the galaxies and everything like that. And we know that the smallest particle is an atom. So what if when you're zooming out, you're really zooming in? Because you're just one big, large body you down to your cells on a molecular level you just get this reality again look at this video like isn't that what it looks like when they show the body like look watch this next part when they get out of, look at that nerves oh wow does that not look like nerves how is that our universe it is us we are the universe literally and I know nerves because I'm usually on somebody's, but uh, that is, I mean, yeah, that's something like the Gaia theory. There, there definitely could be some truth to that. Um, if you don't know what the Gaia theory is, I'd say look into it a little more. I'm not going to go explain the whole thing, but I see it making sense. Like uh, the earth would be like the heart, you know, like think about the cells inside you. You know what I mean? All the, all the organisms or whatever. I don't, I don't know the technical terms. I'm gonna go with cells that live in you they're constantly fighting viruses this that moving around um like all your organs could be like continents you know what i mean like it could be the same thing they the, the, what's in you probably doesn't know it's in a thing you're their universe so we essentially could be just in i mean we the, the universe is living and breathing and da, 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 da. and i bet you the elites of the world have that shit all figured out that's why they fucking hurt us around like got a bunch of fucking sheep yeah I, it could be greater than that that's the firmament the firmament's the skin over whatever we're trapped inside oh shit that blew my mind a little bit all right let's keep it going i like that darkest conspiracy theories darkest what the hell the earth oh. virus theory this theory says that the earth is in living organism and the humans are the virus. It is easier to understand it if you compare it to the human body. If we get sick, we create antibodies to get rid of the virus. And in the same sense, the Earth creates its antibodies to get rid of the virus. Natural disasters, droughts, wildfires, all these things happen so that the Earth can clear itself from the plague that in this case are we. 
you would think a sinkhole would open up underneath Washington, D.C., if that was the case. <laughs> but, yeah, well, that's, yeah. I only watch like a beginning of these most times and then just put them in. I don't watch the whole thing, so I want the reaction to be organic. That's, yeah, that's, that's wild. I officially believe it. So more and more, I'm seeing so many freaking videos of people talking about they feel like there is some weird shift going on in the world and how they feel like it's affecting their energy. So this creator right here, Nico of New York, really hit Shout on something that exactly was what I was feeling. And I feel like a lot of us are feeling the same way. I feel like time has sped up so much that there's not even 24 hours right? in a day anymore. I can honestly say I feel that exactly. It's Big so time. weird. It doesn't feel like there's 24 hours in the day anymore. It feels like it's more like 16. And I know, I know. People are going to be like, no, it's because you're older. And time seems to go by so much quicker when you're old. When you're younger, you don't even think about time. So it's not even like in your mindset. When you're a little kid and summer seems to last forever. No, no, I'm telling you, something is off with the time. I've seen videos of people talking about how their clocks are even different. And I literally said to my husband a month ago, I'm like, what the frick is going on with our clocks? Everything seems to be different. Even though I said at the same time, they change. My microwave clock, my stove clock, my coffee maker clock. I set them the same time, but somehow it always gets scrubbed and they turn out different. Nobody else in the house is touching it. What? And we're talking about drastically different times. It's so weird. Okay, and he also goes on to say this. And sometimes I feel as though people's energy drains me whenever I go out right? because of how vastly different they are now. And I don't understand as though why that is. Because it just seems as though that you have two different types of people. Mm. You have the people who are aware of what's going on and the shift in all the energy. Right. This is direct. That is exactly how I've been feeling because I haven't even been wanting to go out anymore because the energy of some people just seems to be so off and I can't figure out why I'm feeling that way. The other type of people that you have are the people who are unaware and they're just living their life normally. And I'm wondering, where do you fall up? Okay, right? So, like, that's super weird. You have people who are totally unaware of the shift and are just walking around normally in their regular world, not worried about a thing or not even thinking about a thing. But what is that? Why? And I know that there are people who are, are becoming more awake. But why are there people who aren't? Is it because they are just stuck in this reality that's totally falling apart yeah why are people stuck is because they don't want to know because i want to know i want to know everything i want to i want to know all the creepy stuff i want to know what's going on also his voice is really cool all right well hopefully you two start dating but yeah that is crazy first off her husband might be gaslighting her <laughs> and changing the times on the clocks just to fuck with her so i'd look into that if i was her but i feel the same way man time goes so fast now to think christmas is coming around again already it feels like it was just christmas i mean it's it's uh august 8th right now this summer went by like that shit is crazy i mean hell it's 5 15 now not that anyone will be able to gauge this but i feel like it was just eight in the morning like minutes every day it just goes so fast like someone said the earth's spinning twice as fast as it used to like a scientist said that which means uh time would be going twice as fast the time thing's crazy they touched on two things in there everybody some people's energy feels off and it seems like ever since the npc thing npcs and it does seem like there's a lot of literal mean jokes aside just npcs just people like who are these people you see out at like a walmart or this that they just seem like mindless just drones like we're all in the truman show and everyone's just part of like a thing uh, it's so weird and it seemed to start around 2012 which is crazy because I have a theory about the mind calendar. Like, the, there's a couple of them. The, wor the, or the world did end and we're in hell and this and that. But I have a theory that they, they weren't saying the world's ending. The world's going to end as we know it. And it feels like it has. Nothing's been the same since 2012. And that's around when CERN started, the Mandela effect. And if two, like, I don't know, universes, whatever, whatever, not universes, but uh, um, dimensions collided together maybe half the people we see that aren't from our dimension we're not supposed to be seeing or be around and it does suck our energy and things are just off with them 
and they probably feel the same way about us. I mean, there's so many people you talk to and you just can't even make sense of the words that come out of their mouth. I mean, look what's going on in the world now with just people. I'm not going to get too deep into that, but you could probably guess what I'm talking about. Like, where do you come up with these ideas, these thoughts? This isn't from my dimension. I've been saying it for years now. As soon as something dumb happens, send me back to my dimension because ah, this is not. This ain't, this ain't my one. <laughs> this ain't my one. Oh, man. I need to be hanging out with those. The Nico from New York. Shout out to him. Uh, yeah, for sure, man. I'm with you, bro. One of the most famous leading ladies of all time, Anne Hathaway, has lived before, and she is the reincarnation of, of one of the most famous leading ladies of the past. There's a massive conspiracy theory that Anne Hathaway's husband, Adam, is the reincarnation of the most famous playwright of all time, William Shakespeare. Because look at how much they look alike. It's very suspicious. And if anyone had the Illuminati power... Does he know that's a painting? <laughs> it's like... I mean, I guess it could probably be pretty spot on, but like, come on, bro. Or to reincarnate themselves, it's the most famous man of his time. And guess what Shakespeare's wife was named? Anne Hathaway. And That's this is crazy. what she looked like. Look familiar to another Anne Hathaway we know. And here they are all together. The theory goes that they wanted to reincarnate so they can come back and the wife could be famous in this lifetime. Maybe so she can act because women weren't allowed to act in the 1500s. And Anne is very known for her poised, proper, almost old fashioned way of talking and behaving that rubs some people the wrong way. But maybe it's because she's from a different time. Before I show you the most eerie part of all this, make sure you follow so you finally know the craziest conspiracy theory about each of these celebrities and request you want to see next. Anne Hathaway was born on the exact day to the date of Shakespeare and Anne's four hundredth wedding anniversary to the date not their wedding anniversary that is crazy though a lot of people are saying like that's something i never really dug into as far as the conspiracy world is the celebrities being uh cloned i guess cloned or brought back new celebrities are like re re uh reinvented or cloned old celebrities a lot of them do look alike that is pretty wild the Earth might be bigger than we thought. For years, people have debated That's over the shape said. of the Earth, if it is round or flat. Now, this might just all be a conspiracy. But what if the Earth had more than just seven continents? In Antarctica was just a giant ice wall that kept us from seeing the rest of the continents. What if once you made it past the ice wall, you'll find the 20 continents that are really being hidden from us? And what if there was a map that showed this? There are theories that these continents contain prehistoric animals, aliens and advanced civilizations and that the seven continents that we are living in is actually a giant farm or business owned by a small handful of families that make up the filthy rich in the real world or in the other continents that we don't know about that is wild and i totally believe it i used to be big into like nibiru and all that like the aliens outer space i never even want to get into the flat earth thing i accidentally watched a hour and a half documentary about eight years ago on flat earth oh god i was hooked the fuck in halfway through like jesus i mean they cover everything i mean these guys got an answer for everything i'm starting to think it that's why no one can go to antarctica if something on the other side of it and that's probably where all these rich people go and do whatever they need to do it's probably the where the reptilians are from and we're we're in a prison planet. We're just the farm. They just herd us around. Hey, uh, turn your kids, blah, 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 fight over race and blah, 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 blah. And I, that, I mean, we're like watching like sea monkeys, you know, like you're a kid. <laughs> well, if you're a kid, like pre 1990, like the little sea monkeys or any little animals, like you just watch them in their habitat and you blah, 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 blah. They're like, you know, playing the Sims. They just herd us around and they just go over back over there and they just sit and watch us. Ugh, I believe it, dude. What's a conspiracy theory that you a thousand percent believe in? I'll go. The conspiracy behind the Wayfair. last one. So I remember when this first was going on, um, a lot of people were all up in the air about it. Some people believed it, some people didn't believe it. And I happen to be one of those people that really didn't believe it. I thought there was no way that this huge corporation would use their website and certain items and certain coupon codes to possibly sex traffic kids. So I really never thought too much into it um, until one day something happened that actually changed my mind. So this happened about a year ago. Um, so I work for a pretty well-known bank 
And I remember we would always have this older lady come in and anytime she came in, she would always do a cash deposit and immediately do a wire transfer. So one day I got a chance to help her and I remember she did the cash deposit, which was like $13,000 um, all in cash and immediately wanted to do a wire transfer. So when I started to help her, I remember the account number was written down on like a small piece of paper and the amount. So she was sending about 12,900 um, and like whatever cents to this account number. So I got to the part where I needed to type in who it was going to and she told me it was going to Wayfair. And at first I really didn't think too much into it because she did have a business account and I figured, well, maybe she's buying new furniture for her office or whatever. So after we were done, um, I started to go through her previous wire transactions just to see where all these other wires were going that she did prior. And they were all going to Wayfair. There was like six or seven different wires that she was doing in the past like 60 days. And that's when I changed my mind. I, I knew that there was no way that this person that is always doing cash deposits and immediately doing a wire transfer afterwards to Wayfair, sending them thousands of dollars in two months was buying furniture. There was no way. And I remember shortly after I reported the account um, just for like secondary review or whatever. And next thing I know, she never comes in again. I never see her again, ever. Damn. That is shady. And did you see that? Some little... people believed it. Some people didn't believe it. See this and right I happen to be one of those people that really didn't believe it. I thought there was no way that this Hold huge on. corporation would use that. Oh, you think they'd have like the dimension is Oh, that's they say said 13,000 or 2,900. I mean, he would fit in there probably. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. I, mean, I I don't know. I don't know. It's, it would be weird if that's what they were doing. I mean, lady could easily been just laundering money, um, doing something like that straight. You think they wouldn't put, uh, denominations or whatever, uh, amount, uh, amounts over 10,000. I think they track anything over 10,000. Boy, that's, Hey man, can't roll it out, bro. I'm going to be way fair about that. Elon Musk is nanny exposes it all. I don't know. Those Illuminati. He opened up something. A portal, a stargate, whatever. But he was excited and he was jumping up and down. And well, he was able to open up a stargate in his room. Whatever you want to call it. As a kid. Um, <laughs> I'd like to say maybe that's out of context, but I don't know. I have to look at what? Okay. Cool. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me. I love you, Richard Mill. What do you do for a living? It's for Ava Wancho. Yeah. I actually watched that one over and over. That's crazy. Just look at their faces and eyes. Are they lizards or are they lizards? They said it was the Rothschilds. I, I don't know. They look like they were related. That's for damn sure. So they probably were. Keep it in the bloodline, baby. Monsters, Inc. is a movie about adrenal. The movie's plot is literally centered around the monsters who work at Monsters Incorporation, where they enter through doors at night to scare them because the children's fears, specifically their screams, are used to power the city of Monstropolis. Mm. They even use ranking systems to see who can extract the most screams from these children, and they're absorbed into these, like, right, these containers or whatever. And they literally look look like blood yeah. when they're filling up. And That's if you think crazy. about the tactics that are used by the elite, right? Like how they acquired the best form of adrenal blood is by spiking the adrenaline in children. So you have to torture, you have to deliberately instill fear, and then you extract the blood. This scheme to kidnap the children and extract their screams with the help of a machine called the Scream Extractor. And at full capacity, the device torturously forces the screams out of them until they meet their end. Man, like, why would you even come 
up with something like a concept like that if you didn't know anything about it or understand it because that clearly parallels well what they're talking about Chew. they throw it all right in your face that's for damn sure they throw it all right in your face and a couple of people figure it out they get called crazy and uh big wheels keep on turning unbelievable dude oh okay this is the feel good video of the day i like to end it on something funny because <laughs> so much shit is like not funny like a dream adrena crone and um <laughs> in, in kids movies uh this girl's losing it over well i'll let her explain guys what is going on I'm that into conspiracy theories She's and I not. don't think that this is some crazy UFO thing, but there's definitely something happening. Guys, it's 11 o'clock right now and internet destruction. Listen to this, okay? We literally have no phone service, okay? We have been down since 9.30 p.m. And I got in my car and I could not make any phone calls. I thought it was really weird. My SOS was activated on my phone without me activating my SOS. And so bad. Finally, the internet is a little bit up because I'm using the Wi-Fi from my house, but I cannot make any calls. If this is happening to anybody else out there, let me know. This is, this guys, this is not normal. This is not normal. <laughs> Maybe I'm missing the point. Maybe I'm missing the point. Like, oh, your phone's fucking up. <laughs> <laughs> like it's a conspiracy i'm not into ufos and, like your the wi-fi is messing up and your your phones their service is out like oh shit <laughs> alert the press <laughs> like fucking a <laughs> ah, i hope she got it figured out either that or I'm, I'm missing the point and there's something deeper to it and if so um and i'm the idiot not saying she's an idiot but you know Seems like she's uh, jumping the gun a little bit there. If I'm the idiot, go ahead and let me know below. Hey, dipshit, yada, 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 X, Y, and Z. Um, but that's going to do it for today. Hope you liked it. You know, if you got anything to let me know about those videos, got anything in, in mind, conspiracy that wise you want me to get into, uh, go ahead and let me know. If you don't mind, go ahead hitting that like button. And uh, if you didn't sub when we had that little talk in the beginning, if you don't mind, just go ahead and give it a poke. A little tap 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 a roo it's right down there it's right down there other side it's right down there all right other than that thank you for sticking around checking it out you have a great day now